Tasker has new UI elements that you can use in the new widget version too. Check it out. First off, there's this whole element here, which is a scaffold. It has a title, an icon on the left here, and then you can have some action icons on the right. Of course, this can do anything you want because this is Tasker after all, right? So inside the scaffold, you have a content part which is this down here. This is using the new grid, which allows me to set up icon uh, elements, any other elements as a grid like this. As you can see, it's scrollable, so you can add as many elements as you want. It's kind of like a scrollable column, but with multiple columns at once. Then finally, we have all of the new visual elements here, which are uh, all of these. So fill button looks like this. Outline button it's kind of like this but with an outline instead of filled. Then a circle icon button which is also like these but with a, a background color so you can show them like these or like this. These are also circle icon buttons but without the background color. We have square icon buttons you have checkboxes, so you can enable them or disable them. You have switches. You have progress bars. In this case, it's a circular progress that doesn't show an actual progress, but just says that something is happening. And then we have the progress bar itself, where you can set a value for the progress. In this case, it's 25%, but you can set any value you want. And then you can select the color of the foreground color and the background color here if you want. Oh, also in the, all of these, you can customize the colors, the icons, and all of that. And finally, we have a new element. We have a new way to load images, which is SVG images. You can now specify, specify a URL for an image that's in the F SVG format, and it will show up here. You can also use a file directly, but you can use a web URL if you want. So these are all the new elements that you can now use. This is in addition, of course, to all the other elements that I showed in the previous video. So check that out if you want. Now I've also added a couple of, well, a bunch of customization options for the text format. As you can see in this example, you have all of these. You can set the size, you can set bold, italic, underline, line through, it looks like this. You can align the text to whatever position you want. And you can use the font family, which changes the font for the text itself. So as you can see, you can now show text exactly the way you like it. Uh, these two examples are using the custom layout feature in the widget v2 but I've also added a new preset layout which is the table layout in this simple example I've added a table with five columns and then I've added some text Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday then a few images which incidentally are also F SVG images in this example but they could be any images and then some other text. And as you can see, it's very easy to set them up to look like a, a true table. This is all dynamic, so if you do this, for example, you can see that the, the they all stick together, they all um, resize correctly, so that's good. And if you do this, they also resize, so find the correct size for whatever widget you're building. So these are all the new features in the widget v2 action, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.